Hi traders, this is Gomati Shankar. I am very happy to meet you all in a new video. In this video, we are going to see a very important topic, how to scan stocks in a single click. Now, in a single click, we are getting our orders delivered, we are getting taxi or auto, we are getting our foods and vegetables and fruits delivered in a single click. So, how to select stocks in a single click using chart ink scanners? Let's get into today's video. Now generally people select stocks based on any news or newspapers or any websites or blogs and even people select stocks by looking at NSE top 10 gainers and losers and there are few people who select stocks based on their friends or family recommendations or through their broker's recommendation. So these are the common ways people select stocks. But generally it is advisable to select stocks manually. You have to go through each and every stocks. You have to draw the necessary support and resistance. You have to look for any chart patterns and then you have to decide your entry and exit points. So through this way you will get to learn a lot of psychology. You will learn about market psychology. You will learn about candlestick psychology and you will also learn about that particular stocks structure in the overall trend. So these things will miss when you are selecting a stock based on any recommendations or even through scanners. Even the scanners which we are going to discuss right now should be used only in worst case where you are unable to select a stock. Maybe you, you would be busy with your family or relatives or you would be busy in any functions or you might have any uh, important project to be done. So you may not have enough time to select stocks. So in that case, you can select stocks based on scanners and even though you are using a scanner, don't take any trades blindly because we have seen that a lot of time beginners, they select stocks based on any particular scanner. They quickly take a long or short position by selecting the stocks in the scanner and then after losing the trade, they would be blaming the scanners. So even though you are selecting a stock based on any scanner, Make sure you are studying the trend in the overall uh, time frame and then you decide your entry and exit points as per your uh, respective support or resistance levels or any based on indicators. So remember stocks should be selected manually only not based on any recommendation or not based on any scanners. In a worst case you can prefer scanners to shortlist your stock list and then you have to analyze those stocks manually and then only you have to plan for your entries and exits. So now let us get started with how to use a Chartink scanner. So this is Chartink website, Chartink.com. So here you can see a lot of built-in scanners. So here is today's top trending scanners. People are using 15 minutes stock breakouts and people are using short term breakouts. And there are also candlestick pattern scanners. If I'm going to this screeners option in charting.com, you can see a lot of inbuilt scanners like candlestick patterns scanner. You can see bullish scan and bearish scan. You can look for range breakout scans. So these are already built in in this particular website. You can use it or you can prepare your own scanner. Now let us prepare our own scanner. Now here you can see under screeners create scan option click that and here the first option which we should look at is stock passes all of the below filters in cash segment. So this is the first inbuilt filter which is there in uh, charting.com. Here you have to change this cash segment to futures. Once you have changed the settings to futures, then you can start creating your uh, filter by adding it manually. So click on this plus sign. First, let us create a scanner for RSI indicator. So many of you are familiar with RSI indicator. Whenever RSI is above 70 or above 80, it is called as overbought. So people will stop buying above 70 or 80 in RSI. 
Whereas, if RSI is above 60, people will prefer to buy that particular stock. So, let us prepare a scanner for RSI above 60. Now, here, let me search for RSI. I am clicking on RSI. So, latest RSI 14 is greater than number 60. So, as soon as I prepare the scanner, even a stock which is above RSI 70 or above RSI 80 will also comes under this list. So, now I am going to create another filter. Again, I am searching for RSI and I am giving less than number 80. Okay. So, you can read the scanner right now. RSI 14 is greater than number 60 and RSI 14 is less than number 80. So, whichever stock is between 60 to 80, we will get in the list. So, now I am clicking on run scan. So, you can see over here, we are getting a lot of stocks. So, totally we have filtered 102 stocks. Now, here you can see a lot of uh, low priced stocks like sale or bell or IOC which is trading around 80-90 rupees. Now I can even create a scanner, uh, another filter to scan only stocks which is above 1000 rupee. Now I am clicking on the filter option once again. I am clicking on this close. So let us close this above greater than number of 1000. So now what happens, all the stocks which are above 1000 rupees will comes under the scanner. Now let me click on this run scan. Now you can see over here, all the stocks which are above 1000 rupee comes under my scanner list. So now I am having 55 stocks in my list. Now even in this 55 stocks list, you can see like MRF or About India or Nestle India, these are high, highly expensive stocks. So generally we never trade in these kind of expensive stocks. So let us select uh, CIPLA or we can select HCL Technologies, you can select SBI Life Insurance, you can select TBS Mota. Now let me open Mahindra and Mahindra for you. So here is Mahindra and Mahindra. Here you can see the RSI value is 67.79 which is between 60 to 80. And I can look at this Mahindra and Mahindra and I can draw the necessary support and resistance levels and I can plan my entries and exits. Now, this is a very tough resistance as per daily chart and this is going to be a tough support as per daily chart. All right. Now, I have drawn this resistance and support purely based on these two candles. Now, I can go to hourly chart and I can look for further resistance and support levels. Now, as per hourly chart, I can see another resistance over here, somewhere around 1, 1, somewhere around 1, 4, 1, 4. And I can see another support around 1, 3, 8, 0. So, these are the very important crucial support and resistance levels in uh, Mahindra and Mahindra. And Mahindra and Mahindra is currently trading above 60 as per daily RSI level. So, this is a very good chance that Mahindra and Mahindra might go up. The trend as per RSI in daily chart of Mahindra and Mahindra is bullish. So, now as per hourly chart and as per 5 minutes chart, I have to plan only for long positions. And even in hourly chart, you can see over here, this is almost like a small cup and handle pattern. So, we may soon expect a good breakout from Mahindra and Mahindra. So this is how you filter a stock using a scanner and then you manually check in the charts and then you take it for your day trading. Like this you can check any other stock, you can look for a good uh, support and resistance level, you can check for any chart patterns and then you can plan your entries and exits. Now let us prepare another scanner based on volume. Now what I am going to do, so this is how you have to prepare a scanner and you can click on save, it will ask you to log in, you can log in and then you can save it for yourself. Now I am going to prepare a scanner for volume. So the first thing is, I should change the segment to futures and now I have to start preparing. Now I am going to give latest volume is greater than 
uh, yesterday is one day ago volume okay one day ago volume so what does it mean today's volume now the market is uh, closed so today's volume is greater than yesterday's volume so it means more people have participated in that particular stock right now i am giving run now here i have received 103 stocks so there will be some small penny stocks also so we may prepare another filter latest close which is greater than number 1000 so now what happens i am getting only a stock which is above 1000 rupee and now i am having 49 stocks hardly around 49 stocks now here i can uh, select any stock and i can look for any patterns so here uh, there is a uh, tvs motors there is tech mahendra you can take any stock let me take sipla which is in the first list okay so i am going to daily chart i am going to sipla all right so so this is sipla so we can uh, see that sipla is more volume traded today compare comparing to yesterday now i have to check for is there any uh, support and resistance levels is there any patterns uh, in sipla now as per daily chart i can see over here uh, this is where sipla was uh, consolidating for a very long time and from that level only sipla started its uh, huge fall right so now once again sipla is approaching this level all right so now we have to seek uh, see whether sipla is able to break this uh, in crucial zone or not and currently rsi is trading around 73 so anything above 70 to 80 is a sign of bullish trend in rsi so sipla seems to be mildly bullish and we can expect sipla to uh, break this zone now let me go to uh, hourly chart and let me de decide my support and resistance levels now as per hourly chart what we understand is this is a very tight resistance zone that has to be broken for sure now so this level especially 1002 uh, could act as a good support because today we have seen sipla trying to bounce from 1002 levels in case if sipla drops down in case if sipla is unable to break this level and if sipla tries to come down then uh, we can expect sipla to fall up to this particular support level as per uh, hourly chart because uh, almost there was a, a triple bottom kind of pattern over here and then only sipla started its rally and now again it's trying to uh, consolidate over here to break the resistance so in case if sipla falls we might expect a fall up to this crucial support level all right so this is how you have to analyze so what i am going to do uh, for the upcoming days if this level somewhere around 1018 is broken we can plan for a long position so above 1018 we can plan for a long and uh, below this particular level you can plan uh, you you can avoid taking short positions in sipla since the volume has been increasing in daily chart and currently this looks like a good sized uh, a rejection candle which can take the prices to higher side so currently in sipla the volume is increasing and uh, uh, as per the uh, daily chart and as per the technicals uh, we we can expect some hurdle at this resistance zone and rsi suggests that uh, sipla is almost closer to the overbought levels and there might be a small uh, pullback towards this support level or uh, today's uh, increase in volume also suggests that it might also break this resistance zone so whether supply is going to go up or whether supply is come, going to come down we we will see in uh, in another couple of days all right so this is how you select a stock based on volume like this you can check other uh, stocks also now we are going to prepare another final scanner which is a golden crossover so it is a very uh, popular scanner among the traders even investors prefer to look for golden crossover so what is golden crossover 50 sma crossing 200 sma in daily chart is called as golden crossover so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to prepare a scanner 
I'm typing SMA, which is simple moving average. Uh, I'm changing the settings to 50 SMA. So 50 is greater than, uh, again, I'm typing for SMA and I'm again giving for 200. So SMA 50 greater than 200. Now, if I run this scanner, again, as I said earlier, I will get 122 stocks. Now, I don't want this low priced stocks. So I will give another filter latest close greater than number 1000. So now the filter, this filter will give me stocks only which are above 1000 rupee. So here we are seeing Mahendra and Mahendra once again. Now let me open Mahendra and Mahendra for you and let me open the moving average. So now in Mahendra and Mahendra, we can see uh, 50 SMA is crossing 200 SMA. So uh, this red color is 50 SMA and this black color is 200 SMA. So 50 is crossing 200. So this is a golden crossover in Mahendra and Mahendra. All right. So already uh, we saw Mahendra and Mahendra RSI was above 60, uh, above 60 levels. And uh, in daily chart, we are seeing a golden crossover. And moreover, you can see a cup and handle kind of pattern in daily chart. So this also suggests a bullish trend in Mahendra and Mahindra. So what we can conclude is Mahendra and Mahindra is having golden crossover. Mahendra and Mahindra is having RSI above 60. Mahendra and Mahindra is having a cup and handle pattern. So when the latest resistance is getting broken somewhere around here, right? So here also there is a resistance and here also there is a resistance. So once this resistance level is broken, we can go for a long in Mahendra and Mahendra. So now you saw uh, we prepared uh, three scanners and we selected a stock from that particular scanner and then we prepared our own entry and exit levels based on support resistance. So this is how you have to scan a stock and then you have to prepare your own entry and exit levels as per support resistance and then you have to plan your entries. But what happens, you know, most of the people, they are using scanner and then they are blindly going for long or short in five minutes chart. That is the wrong approach. As soon as you filter a stock, open the daily chart and do your own analysis and then draw the necessary levels and then be prepared for the market. And especially these scanners should be used after market hours. During live market, please avoid using scanners and avoid using scanners in other time frames. You should use scanners only in daily chart, weekly chart or even in monthly chart. So, so always prefer to use these scanners only in higher time frames. Don't use in lower time frames like hourly or lesser than hourly chart. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you can share it to your friends and post your queries if you have in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.